furnishings for this set of the Buddy Pugh Show provided by Whitash Furnishings. Whitash Furnishings is a proud sponsor of the Buddy Pugh Show. A huge announcement this past week in the state of South Carolina. Uh, the Oliver C. Dawson Bulldog Stadium uh, being named also the Willie E. Jeffries Field Coach, and that's a special time for all Bulldog fans. It was a special time, and this is the first kickoff on the new Willie Jeffries Field. South Carolina State won the toss. We deferred, and Howard goes on offense first. Todd Liggins, the quarterback, feeling the pressure from the Bulldog defense. Yeah, Ron L. Ferguson is throwing some people around here, and uh, Marquise Parks and, and, and Pat Watson actually make the sack. Pressure coming again over the middle, and Marshall McFadden, the senior from Lamar, with a huge pick. Right, that was Marshall uh, making a big play there for us. He got back to uh, full speed in this game, and uh, David Irving kind of knocked the quarterback around, and Marshall picks it off and runs it in for a score. That string looked pretty good. Bulldogs scored nothing. We missed the extra point, and of course we go back on defense now. And a huge play for South Carolina State. Right, Leon Smith, who's been out for a while, is in there pushing people around a little bit, and you know Urban, Latars Douglas, and some of those other guys seem to made a play. K.O. Chandler's playing a little bit. He's a freshman from over in Hemingway, South Carolina. You see Devin Ware. You know, running the football on the uh, on the stretch play, and Malcolm comes out here and hits Richard Christie. Christie's playing his last game from down in Miami, Florida. Christie makes a nice, tough run there. Uh, uh, we've been giving I've been giving Christie a hard time about the fumble last week, so he was trying to show me that he was going to be a lot tougher this week. And, and you see Devin run down the heart there. This is the power play. We run in the power. Uh, hard nose down here run and then we come back and run a similar play to Chris Merrill who scores for us. Chris Merrill, the sophomore from Simpsonville, gets into the end zone to score. 741 to go in the first quarter. The point after touchdown was good. And South Carolina State now on the move still in the first quarter. 13 to nothing over Howard coaching. And you have to feel good from the standpoint of just the offensive efficiency at this point. Oh well, yeah, you, you're thinking about uh, the fact that you've been able to run it and throw it. Uh, and we back to defense now. Roy Nell and Donna Richards. Uh, uh, Herb and Tars Douglas are involved here. And, you know, they come out and try to sprint out and throw the ball. And, and we get an interception here by Mason Harris. Mason Harris filling in for Yard King, who was injured a couple weeks ago. He's done a real nice job. Bulldogs back on offense. Malcolm, really good, good play on this own read. Malcolm is reading off the backside and running downhill. And, you know, he's like a big fullback coming. And then we get a nice throw down the middle of post. Uh, on the post route to uh, Trey Williams. I, I like throwing the football deep, and I, I, my coaches get on me all the time because I don't like the short throws. I want to, you know, really hurt them when you throw the ball. 31 yards, Malcolm to Trey Williams, 20 nothing South Carolina State, and, and Howard coming back now trying to get something going. Yeah, uh, uh, that's their quarterback. They, they changed quarterback, put the Bradley kid in, and that Willie Carter kid that you see them throwing the football to here is from over in Denmark, South Carolina. South Carolina State will get them slowed down. We go back on offense again. Malcolm again, very sharp here with the pass inside. Another big catch for Trey right. Williams. This route here is a little hook route that we run outside to Trey Williams. And, you know, Malcolm has seen in the time this thing up pretty good. You see it thrown again here. This is not quite the same, but a similar route. And Trey gets his hands under the ball and makes a real nice catch there. Big game for Trey Williams. Big game for Malcolm Long throwing the football, especially in the first half. We're still now in the first half. Second quarter action. Malcolm back. Back up top and once again sharp again. Right, this is the Tyler McDonald. Tyler's from down at Stratford High School in uh, and 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 uh, Berkeley County. And you know we seem to be able to you know find him in some good spots. And you know right there there was a little bit of a, a real good spot right in his hands that he didn't quite make it. But then uh, Blake comes in and hits another about 40 yard field goal. For it was a 40 yard field goal for Blake uh, Erickson at that point. 23 nothing now. South Carolina State on top, but still 13 minutes to go in the first half and. A lot more offense to be had. Yeah, uh, Howard gets a score here. They, they throw a ball out here. Uh, the Bradley kid makes a connection. And he comes back, and they hit a little stop and go route on us. And they tell me the kids say it was a real good route, Coach. And, you know, Willie Carter catches a touchdown pass on us here. Howard gets on the board. That makes it 23-7. First points offensively. Actually, only points of the day that the Bulldogs would actually give up on the defensive side. Malcolm comes back. What a pass to Trey Williams. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a little bit of a scary one there. But uh, he sticks it in there, and Trey gets it and gets another yard or two. And then, you know, we throw the ball out here to Caleb Davis. Caleb is from over at Wilson High School in Florence, South Carolina. And he's, I think he's going to be a good player for us. Got a little speed, and, you know, we need a guy that can run. 
run. So I think Caleb is going to find, you know, his niche in this offense. And then you see Malcolm hitting Tyler McDonald again across the field on a little crossing route. And we give it to uh, uh, Devin Ware. And Devin knocks it down here close to the goal line. Uh, uh, Devin is our, is our big back in the scheme now. And we come back and go a little play action pass on first down and hit Derrick without the flat. And he goes in for the score. Devin Ware out of Rock Hill High School in Rock Hill, South Carolina going in. 5.23 still to go in the first half. Bulldogs up 30 to 7. Still first half action. Yeah, now Devin's from South Point. Now he is from Rock Hill, from go. South Point <laughs> High School. And they, Here's Rock Hill. Yeah, David Irv is from Rock Hill High School. We got a lot of Rock Hill kids, and they all seem to be good players. And then there's Caleb Davis again. Caleb comes off the edge and blocks the point off to the uh, uh, right side, and then we give it back to Chris Merrill. You know, Chris uh, uh, takes a little sturdy step there, and he runs in the end zone for another score. Second week in a row, the Bulldogs get a block punt coach, and those special teams that made such a difference. You know what? You know, we like to think that we can score in every phase of the game, and we didn't score in, on our special teams this week, but, you know, that was close to being a score, and, you know, that's what we're trying to get done. And, of course, Dominic Ellis coming up with a huge interception there, uh, stopping how as they've gotten down across the 50. This is the last play of the second half, or close to the last play of the second half, and they get him for... Uh, for a face mask on on uh, Dominique right there. That was with a half minute. Bulldogs lead 37-7. We'll be back with more on this edition of the Willie Jeffrey of oh, the Buddy Pugh Show. <laughs> <laughs> The Palmetto Health Injury Report, Coach, and we talked about these guys, both starters, both keys for the Bulldogs. Dwayne Clark was a quarterback for us and, you know, had been really coming on as a tight end and looked like he's out for the season. And then Nate Smith, uh, our, our holder and a long snapper, uh, hurt his knee. We had him on kickoff yesterday for the first time, and as luck would have it, he goes down and hurts his knee. Uh, it's a big day for South Carolina State on Saturday. As you know, Coach Willie Jeffries was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame this past summer. Each inductee was recognized by their respective schools on a particular weekend. This weekend was Coach Jeffries' weekend. And ironically, at the same time, South Carolina State has decided to name the football field at South Carolina State in honor of Coach Jeffries. After the football game, a great program, and a lot of folks were on hand. This event tonight is to celebrate the legacy of uh, Coach Willie Jeffries. Um, uh, a legend at South Carolina State University. He's been a great coach, a great mentor to young men who have proven themselves uh, as they have gone on to uh, be fathers and mentors and coaches. He's an icon among uh, HBCU coaches. Um, he's an icon among high school coaches here in our state. So we must respect him, and this is our way of acknowledging uh, his uh, legacy at South Carolina State University. I think it's so appropriate that the institution would recognize him in that, in that way. Um, anytime you think about Bulldog football and you think about that field, you know, that Coach Willie Jeffries' name will always be mentioned. He was a father figure to all of us, even though he may have had others. Uh, he was very influential in our own growth and development from being ways into man manhood. I think, you know, people look at Coach Jeffries and they look at the record and they look at the X's and O's, but, you know, there are certain things that you really can't quantify. You really can't talk about him as a person uh, just on records and win and loss records. It's about what he has done to help develop men. You know those football players, uh, when they were contemplating uh, naming the field, those guys signed uh, documents, statements. They wanted coach to have his name on that football field. I have to thank those players because they made the tackles, they made the blocks, and uh, I was hard on them, and now they are, most of them are grown men now, and they understand why. And there's a great deal of adoration for the coach. Coach Pugh, when you start talking about that, you also have a great adoration for Coach Jefferson. He is your mentor. I guarantee you he is. And, and a great friend today. That might be as, as much fun as anything. I get a little bit of advantage on the rest of our players, you know, who all envy me because of the fact that I get a chance to see Coach almost daily at some kind of function or whatever. So it's always fun having him around. Of course, Coach Willie Jeffries has always been a part of South Carolina State. Could I put you to the task? You spoke 
uh, at, the, at the gathering last night. And I thought what you said was, was so important and something that Coach Jeffrey shared with you, you shared with the audience well, last night. Well, Coach is known as a developer of men, and he's always talking about, you know, who you hang with, associations, that kind of stuff. And in honor of him, he'd always say the poem, and it goes like this. It was sometime in November, in a time, I can't remember, I was taking home a pint of whiskey and, and drinking with foolish pride when my feet began to stutter and I fell down into a gutter when a pig came up, came up and laid down by my side. As I lay there in the gutter thinking thoughts I dare not utter, a lady passing by was heard to say, you can tell a man who boozes by the company he chooses when the pig got up and slowly walked away. All right, Coach <laughs> Buddy Pew here on the Buddy Pew Show. It's halftime. South Carolina State leading Howard with 37-7. We come back. We'll have your exciting second half highlights and tell you what's up next for your South Carolina State Bulldogs.